Damn, damn, oh sh DIY launcher makeover? Man stuff! I uh, got my hands on this ratty old lawn chair. Here it is. It's definitely had some sun damage, but it's still a cool chair. I'm gonna give it a little bit of love. Alright, let's check it out. So what I've done, aside from lighting it on fire, is I primered it, painted it, took off the armrest, sanded those, painted those, put new hardware on all the way around, and new knobbies. Okay, for my cordy supplies, I ended up buying what's known as 275 paracord. 275 paracord is quite a bit thinner than the paracord you're thinking of. Kind of want to do a little bit of a tighter weave. And for some rustic appeal, I bought some twine. For 20 bucks, you can buy enough twine to go to the moon and back. Twine has this distinct pungent aroma to it. It reminds me of Boy Scout camp, sniffing glue and blowing crap up. I kind of want to show you something I do before I start a new project, and that is I roughly plan it out. And in this particular case, I use colored pencils. And it's a good thing I did, because I really don't like this idea, and I would have ended up wasting time and money on it. Then I take it a step further. And this is GIMP. It's uh, kind of like Photoshop. You can download it for free. If you've never used it, you'll figure it out. And I think I got something I kind of like. I'm going to try to stick to this. And to aid myself, I also printed it out. I'm changing colors a lot, so I'm going to have to follow this strand by strand. Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start this out with what's known as a bunt line hitch. It's a shipping knot. I'm going to show you why I like this knot. It's going to cinch down really nice. And it's going to constrict really good. So as I mentioned before, I'm changing colors on this design a lot. It's actually quite labor intensive. I'm going to connect all these strands with what's known as a sheet bin. So I'm going to have all those just tucked back here somewhere on the along this chair here. So now I've got that tied together there. And so I'm going to wrap it around there. Just start this off with. Get her through there. Cinch it down. Kind of pull it over. I got my little knot hiding out back there. That's what I want. But now what I have to do again is I'm going to have to tie another knot over here. So on the front as well, I've got another sheet bin knot here. I'm going to wrap this around and just tuck those up underneath there. And we're ready to start on the front here as well. Let's grab that guy there. All right. And we're kind of cruising. Remember, we don't need to put these on here too tight. The tension's going to add up across here and bend this bar. You just kind of barely just need it touching. And we're ready to tie on again. Now I've got my twine knot connected here. And you're going to just go around. We're going to grab. And we're going to pull it through. Come on, work with me. Ah. Now we're actually in a groove. Again, so here we go. We're going to go up. Loops coming up through the middle. I'm going to grab that. Again, this never seems to want to cooperate with me. I didn't say I was very good at this. There we go. It wasn't as bad as I thought. Coming up and back around. All right. And back up. Ready for another connection. So I've got the first color band down here, and I'm pretty pleased with it. I think you get the basic just what I'm doing here, so I'm going to get into a groove.
flat. Mm-hmm. And it has depth. And dimension. Yeah. And rustic appeal. It's modern. R right on. And it's retro at the same time. He has simply outdone himself on this one. Mm-hmm. Word, brother. <laughs>